Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a, um, a fighting game in Unity using Icon 7 and Character Creator 3. So let me show you a quick demo. I'm going to go to the Versus screen and then let's go um, just select uh, my player here. Round 1. Fight! Okay, so let's go to character creator and uh, let's create our first character. If you don't have character creator, download it. The link is down below. Okay, so here is our default character and uh, let me just add some hair to our character. Uh, if you want to change the face, you can. Actually, I should, actually, I should do that now because uh, the other characters are identical. Brown angle. There you go. The mouth. Only small changes. Let's change their hair color. Now we to textures. And uh, I'm gonna change the hair color. I'm gonna make it green or something. Actually, that's a scalp there. Is going to have green hair. Super saturated. So that's fine there. Let me uh, change your clothes. Let's give it a t-shirt. I'm going to have to remove this one here. I'll just uh, skip this. Just edit this out. I have to edit that out or I get demonetized. <laughs> Alright, so that's good there. Um, like a beach fighting theme. Uh, maybe we can make this purple. Make it purple, purple. There we go. And uh, she's going to need uh, some other accessories like shoes or whatever you want this. The Un Unreal Illusion store has unlimited stuff you can use. There is no limit. Uh, let me find here shoes. Flip flops. Actually, we should just give her high heels. Let's see. Let's go to um, uh, shoes here and um, try these um, high heels instead. So let's uh, export our um, character, export uh, FBX, and uh, just make sure that you're exporting to Unity, uh, you're not embedding any textures, and make sure you delete hidden faces, okay? That's stuff you're not going to use in the... Uh, just going to wait for that to export to Unity. Now to import your character, um, all you have to do is um, drag it into the... Um, characters folder okay I should mention that uh, for this example you are going to need the um, uh, you're going to need the universal fighter package okay the link is down below this package already has everything you need for creating a fighting game so you combine this with a um, character creator you can create just about any type of character super easy Okay, so let me maximize this here, and uh, we are going to check out our uh, Blast Girl. Okay, there she is. She seems fine. Let me just drag her here uh, into the uh, into the training room. There, there she is. All ready to um to fight. Let me just uh, adjust the uh, size here. It's gonna be four, four, four. And we're gonna set the um, uh, Y orientation to 90 degrees. Okay. Let's go to characters. Okay, those are prefabs. So simply drag this here to create a new prefab. 
now for the uh, for the settings you don't have to worry or oh, you can copy the settings from from one of these um uh templates okay actually i'm going to copy it from um black boots so first the uh transform it's uh that's already set for the animation i'm gonna copy this and i go to uh blast girl and paste the uh, values except for i'm going to change the um the avatar to the uh, blast girl avatar and uh let me see black boots again we need the um hitboxes script copy this paste it to blast girl and that's it but now we're gonna go back to our um uh, characters not this one let's go back to blast girl here and uh just let me check that she is um the rig is correctly set and uh let me switch this to humanoid okay apply this so uh let me go configure make sure that everything is fine let me reinforce the T post. Let me just zoom in here. Let me show you that this rig works perfect. So everything works fine. So you don't have to do anything. Okay. So everything is already set. Um, all we need to do now is create a new character. So right click and we're going to go to um, create new character. Okay. Let's give it a name. Uh, let's call her um, Sue, or wait, let's give her some sort of Mortal Kombat kind of name like um, Cortana or something. I think Cortana is like from Halo. So it would be Cortana. There you go. Age uh, 29. Blood type doesn't really matter. This is just for this is just for the profile female height uh, let's make it a uh, 180 1000 does, that doesn't really matter uh, for now we're going to use a uh, placeholder we're going to fill this out after okay let me just use um, the robot for now and for the big picture we're going to use the big picture for the robot as well and for the sound when she dies we need a sound okay this one here if you want to preview the sound you can click on it and press this button here. you can add and replace whatever sounds you want okay so we have our prefab already made so let's find it uh it was a blast girl make sure that you're using the prefab so double click on that uh, description blah 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 okay and um hitboxes we don't have to worry about this physics uh maybe she can move nine and seven backwards okay friction 30 that's fine all this is fine here like this uh character weight i found that uh, you actually have to make your characters 400 pounds for some reason don't ask me why uh let's see uh custom controllers we don't need that move sets uh we actually now for ai uh instructions uh let's select um aggressive first rush aggressive okay it's new instruction uh, balance is going to be obviously uh, balanced oops somebody teach me how to spell new instruction and this was, was going to be um, uh, defensive so obviously it's going to be rush defensive. OK. 
Okay, that's all we need here. Uh, let me see. Let me just double check this here. Uh, everything seems fine. And like I said, we're going to come back later and change this picture. So let me just uh, close this here. Uh, let me rename this to something else. Uh, her name is um, Car Cartana. I think that's what I called her. Let me just double check. It is Cartana instead of Cortana or Kitana. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's go to our main configuration file here. Double click on it and uh, let's add a new character. We have six six characters. All you have to do is um, it's uh, click on this button here and uh, select your character, okay? Which is a uh, Cartana. Double click on it and believe it or not, you are done. Just like that. Let me just shave this here. And unless something went wrong, everything should work fine now. Let me just uh, Okay, that is our new character. We only have one stage. Okay, so um a little problem there with the orientation. <laughs> no big deal, we're gonna fix that now. Okay, so first of all we need to delete that there. Okay, blast girl. And uh, nothing needs to change here, but in the um, character editor. Let me check here our prefab. Hitboxes. Physics. Just double check in here everything. Okay, controllers. Move set. So the animation is. Uh, we're using legacy actually we want to use um make mechanim <laughs> whatever that is right uh we have to use blast girl okay and uh, we're gonna use uh, animation maps so that should fix our little problem there blood type i guess Does, would that do it i don't think so uh hitbox setup 90 enforce T T post apply changes try this again round one Fight. and that fixes our problem so you can see everything works fine you can uh, set the difficulty to your liking Um, so now what we need to do is um, is basically fix the um, simple stuff. We're gonna go back to character creator and uh, let's find a pose for our character. Try this one here. Okay, so that's gonna be her pose there, or maybe this one here. There we go. That looks cool. Uh, so let me just render this. Actually, just preview this. Okay, and we can send this to Le Adobe Photoshop. So let me go to my resources here. Character. Uh, Black Boots. And I'm going to um, show this in the Explorer. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to copy these two images here. And I'm going to go to my character. Blast girl. And I'm going to paste this here. Okay. Now when you go to that character. You should be able to see these two images. Let me uh, control click that there. Cut it. Delete it. And paste it. Actually cut some of her head there. Let me... Uh, Actually, just bring her down a little bit. Okay. 
cut the picture and paste it back again so let me just uh, drag that in here a little too big so let me uh, go control T and we are going to uh, flip this uh, horizontally first and we are going to resize this by holding shift let me just uh, select it all and control X control V and I'm going to give it a uh, layer style stroke and change the color maybe to uh, two pixels and there is our uh, small portrait let's open your character and uh, let's change our image small image for the big image this one here uh, there is our character there but uh, something's going on there with that image okay so it's set to default all right change this uh, to GUI obviously this also needs to be I guess um, GUI apply and uh, let me try that see what happens so uh, let me uh, select my player Round one, fight! So if you went to the configuration here, you can see that we have all kinds of settings you can use for making your game. There is no programming involved, all you have to do is uh, basically uh, tweak the settings and um, yeah you can um, create your own fighting game okay so we want this to be a uh, PC game so let's uh, build and run see you guys in the next video bye now